and your uterus stance. <laughs> I could spill water again. You know, I think that then the only thing left for me to do is to read The Gods Speak, Dolphin Wisdom Revealed. But I'm going to read it in the original German. Was soll ich kommen? I have just ordered water with bubbles, which is the extent of my German. I think the dolphins deserve better than that. So. Hello! <laughs> it's so good to see everyone! Um, I, uh, I, you know, we're here for This Is Tea. How did we win that for you? <laughs> <laughs> we should perhaps explain that um, not only am I blessed with an, a, a lack of grace that is startling, um, but I'm also blind on the left, so if, you know, I, I feel so sorry for you. Really, if you, you want to move out of the danger zone? I like <laughs> um, So all of you on my left, I'm so sorry. I will try not to gesticulate too much. But um, since we are here for This Is Teen, one of the questions that I, I often get asked um, is, do you, did you do anything really stupid as a teen? Like, do you have embarrassing stories? I get asked this a lot, and I'm not really quite sure what to think about it. <laughs> Why this question? Did you do embarrassing things? Did you do stupid things? What? Really? Why do people want to know that of me? <laughs> um, fortunately, the answer is yes. There's, there's a wealth of stuff to choose from, and so I, I thought perhaps tonight I would share with you a, uh, a humiliating story from my teen years. I'm, I'm not going to tell the story about the time I got rejected for the Sadie Hawkins dance. Um, because I know, I know, but I mean, I kind of feel sorry for the guy who I will, who will remain anonymous except for his initials, which are Brian Coker and Debbie Tessler. Um, I'm, all, I'm almost over it, Brian. <laughs> Uh, instead, this story is about one time I, um, in the summers, I, I grew up in Denton, Texas, which is a little like uh, Tatooine, but with a, a Dairy Queen. <laughs> so there, there wasn't always a whole lot to do in the summer, and we would go to the Holiday Inn pool. My best friend Eleanor and I would go. And so um, I think you, I, I've already explained that I, I don't see very well. And, um, and I, I wear glasses, which probably some of you are already on. Like, really? <laughs> so, uh, so we went to the pool, and I had to take my glasses off, so I'm, I'm completely blind. And as we're sitting there, well, I, I had my glasses off for a little bit so I could read, and these three, like, really good-looking guys came in, and I swear to you, it was like the wind machine. It was like, <laughs> Waves of testosterone coming up, right? Okay, so um, and I, you know, I, I responded, and so I, there, I turned to my best friend. I said, "We can make those guys notice us." She's got, she's like, "No, please don't." No, 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 I can do it. Come on, I can do it. I can do it. At the time, there was a, a an ad on TV that was very popular for Van de Soleil. Um, tanning lotion. And so uh, how this worked was that the, the, um, the lady would dive into the water. I'm going to I'm gonna put this here for one sec. Oh, you're so... I love you so much. <laughs> 